Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WWE 2K17 news as yesterday I covered a ton of details from the demo that I played last week at the Suplex City event but there were a few things that I forgot to mention so I'm going to cover them in this video. First up, let's talk backstage brawls as a few people have been asking about the available weapons as there is a few that you can see in the background of this footage but the video only shows the metal table and the trash can in action so to answer questions about other weapons, the fire extinguisher that you see on the left of the hall, that's not actually available so you can't actually pick that up which is kind of a shame as we have had fire extinguishers in the past so I was expecting that to be available as there is also one in the office but that's not the case. Now, as for what is selectable, if you move towards the screen in Triple H's office, not only is the chairs backstage to use, but there's also a silver briefcase, and that can be used as a weapon, although there's no grapple animation with it, so it can only be used for strikes. In terms of other weapons, I didn't really notice too much, but to make up for that, a lot of the backstage items that you see are interactable. So like I mentioned yesterday, you can throw your opponent into the two standing cylinders around the interview area, and that does cause them to fall over. Then there's also the equipment boxes that you can smash your opponent's head into, and that has a really cool animation that sees them kind of stumble up the corridor. Then there's also tables in both locker room and Triple H's office, which feature an OMG moment, and that sees you DDT your opponent through it. Now that OMG is assignable like the rest of the OMGs so it might be that there are different table finishers available backstage but that was the only one assigned to the superstars in the demo. Speaking of assigned OMGs and skills, I can reveal some of this year's new additions. Starting with the OMGs as the demo did feature a few so we'll have the office table DDT, the locker room super kick, the equipment box diver and the TV monitor spear so they're all in regards to backstage brawls and then you can also use the equipment box diver in the crowd fighting section at ringside. Then on skills I was surprised to see ladder bridge listed so again that won't be available to everyone just people with that skill assigned. Then we also had two skills in regards to ladder moves as both ladder jumper and ladder finisher therefore some people will be able to do finishes from the ladder while others won't. In regards to abilities, Taunt is a new one which relates to the new crowd taunts which give you a temporary performance boost as well as a new stare down ability which is described as reducing your opponent's points earned during the next node. Now that appears to be related to the new promo engine that we'll see in both universe and my career mode as the feature sees players earn points from their promos to determine who has the upper hand with this ability only able to be used once per promo. There's also a second brawling ability that is also related to the promo engine and that sees you attack an opponent during a promo which then lowers their health to 60% and transitions the segment into a brawl. Switching to breakouts and this year sees an update that now lets the AI break out whereas last year it was only possible for human players to do so. Also one thing I'm really happy to reveal is that the breakout icon shown during entrances that can actually be turned off this year as there is an option to disable it in the options menu therefore if you record entrances for YouTube and you don't want it to appear then you now have a way to disable it. Staying with breakouts and as I mentioned yesterday this year sees the addition of win animation breakouts so you can break out of the win scene and either continue beating down your opponent or try to gain some revenge for a loss with the game continuing for probably around a minute at which time a cutscene will play and the one that actually played for me was my opponent trying to slam my head in the ring apron which I then reversed it and threw them towards the announce table before the referees came in to break it up. Also one other note on breakouts this year is that 2k have apparently extended the time in which you can attack an opponent therefore you'll have longer at an issue a beat down before the match is thrown out. Covering some of the other news that came out of last week's press event and WWE 2K executive producer Mark Little did a round of interviews in which he's confirmed a bunch of new details. He started out with the news that the submission system used online this year will be the wheel system that was seen in last year's game. Now it was questioned if that could be changed before matches as we'll have the choice of either the wheel or the breaking point system offline but Mark has confirmed that this year it'll only be possible to use the wheel system in online matches which personally due to lag I really don't like as it was absolutely impossible last year to try and move and react in real time so I think the breaking point system would have worked better but hopefully next year or maybe even post release we might see a patch that adds that option in so we can then choose a submission system when setting up a custom match. Also in regards to online Mark did hint at a few new online features however he wouldn't go into specifics therefore it's unknown as to what features we'll see. Other confirmations from interviews featured the news that women can take part in backstage brawls therefore it's not only limited to superstars also, you don't have to throw your opponent into a door backstage to enter the room, you can simply walk up to it and press L1 to enter. Talking about my career mode, Mark confirmed that this year's players will have the option to skip the entire NXT section of the mode, therefore you can choose to head straight to the main roster. And in regards to universe mode, while not much was said, we did get the reveal that we'll be seeing the return of show intros, therefore we'll see the firework cutscenes to kick things off. 
Also, PC players will be got to know that 2K have confirmed a PC version once again, however, like in past years, it won't be released until after the console versions. One other piece of news that I heard mentioned was that there is now commentary on the pre-match loading screens and also an announcement from Lillian Garcia to confirm your choice when selecting a superstar, however I can't confirm if that's 100% correct as I only had the headphones on for a brief time during matches, therefore it wasn't something that I heard. Getting back to things I experienced and people have been asking what the menus looked like, therefore I've put together this example of what the demo featured, but as you can see it's extremely basic and I don't think this will be anything like the final version as this just felt like a placeholder. Also, as you may have seen from this sneak screenshot of the loading screen, none of the superstars in the demo had renders included, both on the selection screen and the loading screen, therefore some people have said we'll just see character models this year, however, as I've mentioned about the menu designs, I think this was more a case of it just being put together for the demo, therefore we'll most likely see proper renders included for the game's release. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of today's video, but make sure to stay tuned tomorrow as I'll be covering the final week of the WWE 2K17 roster reveal as we find out the final batch of superstars that will make it on this year's on-disc roster. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for that, and also let me know your thoughts on who you think we'll see announced tomorrow, as well as what you think of all the details included in today's video. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd love it if you could drop it a like. Have an awesome day, and until next time, I'll catch you later.